Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a one brand makeup get ready with me. This time I'm using the Remel makeup brand. If you don't know this brand, well, you probably know this brand, but just so if you don't know, um, this is basically a drugstore brand and it's kind of like at Walmart, at the CVS, Walgreens, and I bought most of my products from CVS. So if you happen to see it go ha go ahead and get it because most of the products are good so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if you have thank you so much and thank you guys for watching me today giving me a little bit of your time and i hope that you find this helpful and um, this is basically just a simple look because I normally do my makeup during the daytime. So whenever I do stuff like this, it's normally the daytime and I don't want to look crazy because after I do this, I normally go outside and this is the makeup that I wear. So I'm like, I, I'm not really comfortable of wearing like a heavy makeup during the daytime. So, so anyway, check out my other recent videos. And if you like this kind of videos, I have a playlist for this. It's called the One Brand Makeup. And so I hope you enjoy this and I will see you again later on my next video. Thank you guys. Bye. Hey guys, so the primer that I'm going to be using from Remel is this lasting finish. It's supposed to um, help your makeup last for 8 hours. It says it's day proof for minimizing even skin tones and skin perfecting. And then it's just the wide color primer like that. And I'm applying it with my brush and I didn't really see anything, you know, pore minimizing wise. And and so the next thing that I'm going to apply is this um, Benefit Erase Base because I didn't have any color correcting from prim uh, Remel. So anyway, the next thing that I'm going to be applying is this BB Cream Beauty Balm Matte 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup. It has an SPF 15 and this is in the shade Light to Medium. It looks a little light when I apply it but I think it oxidizes in a while once it sets. So anyway, this uh, BB Cream, I'm still trying to like it because it does feel a little heavy a little bit heavy on my face when i touch my face and so i'm still trying to understand but it doesn't feel like a foundation at all anyway the concealer that i'm going to be using is this match perfection concealer in the shade light to medium it says two in one concealer and highlighter i don't really understand the highlighter because this won't oxidize on me that quick and as you guys can see it's supposed to be light to medium but the shade is a little bit dark as you guys can see so I'm just going to apply another layer of it because I want to cover my dark circles and it feels like it didn't really cover so I'm going to apply a little bit of this BB cream. So I'm just going to apply this on top of my concealer because it feels like the concealer made my dark circles even darker. So anyway, it did help as you guys can see. I'm just um, blending it away with a sponge and then not liking that concealer at all. Not at all. So the next thing I'm going to apply is this Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in the shade 005 Silky Beige. I am applying it in a pressed way with my brush and I've loved this powder for a really long time and I go back and forth since lately I have been trying a lot of powders and so this is the second time I've um, purchased this powder and I love it. And I'm just going to apply my Mario Badisco spray and then press down again because the powder will settle like a regular natural way just like that. And then the next thing that I'm going to apply is this Brow This Way uh, Brow Sculpting Kit. Now this one has a tool that all you need but I didn't really care for the tool because it's so short that I can't, I just can't use it. Now this one has a gel and a powder and I'm not really loving this thing because it's just way too red brown for my liking. Um, the gel doesn't really work. Um, I didn't really care for it so I just used the powder on this one and I'm just using my e.l.f. Um, applicator, brow applicator and it works really, really good. This is in the shade 002 medium brown.
Next product that I'm going to be using is this Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel in the shade Medium Brown. Now this one works for me. I believe this is their new product and this one is way a little bit browner for my liking but I like it because for some reason it does work. On to the shadow since my eyelid is still pretty much tacky from the concealer. I'm going to use this Magni Magnif Eyeshadow Palette. Now they have other two shades and I picked this one up because it's more of my shade. And the first shade that I'm going to apply is that pink matte shade that is really nice. Now I was very... Um, surprised with this palette right here because I thought it didn't work and you know just kind of like not really good but it is actually a pretty pretty good palette because the shadows are working well and I thought it'd be powdery but not really and then the next shade that I'm gonna be applying is this um, shade right here which is kind of like a rose gold pink color I like this and then the shimmery side of this is not um, too shimmery it is actually subtle and it doesn't have any fallout and I was really surprised because I thought that be there be like so much glitters or fallout or whatever but anyway I'm just applying it all over my lid in the inner portion mainly the next shade that I'm gonna be applying is that burnt brown right there and it's shimmery and I'm just gonna apply this on my outer V and also on my crease a little bit halfway and I'm actually surprised that there's only one matte in this palette. Overall, the shadows are really nice and it's not too shimmery and glittery and stuff like that. Okay, I'm done with this palette. I am going to use the Scandal Eyes. Um, this is a jumbo stick. And this one is in the shade um, Girl Bronze. And oh my gosh, I don't know what happened but... This thing is broken. This is actually a pretty red bronze like that. And I'm just going to apply this. Oh my gosh. And I'm just going to apply this on my outer V just to accentuate that side right there. And darken, darken it up a little bit. That way we can get a little bit smoky. And that is not working anymore because I have to... Uh, so I'm not going to use it anymore because I have to sharpen it up. So I'm just going to leave it at that. It is actually a pretty good jumbo stick. <sighs> so sad. So I'm just going to go back to the palette right this this palette right here. And I noticed that this color it is kind of matchy with that jumbo stick. So I'm just going to apply that where, the, where I apply the jumbo stick which is works fine. I'm just blending it that way um, the colors are all blending together and the next shade that I'm going to be using from this jumbo stick is this brown color called uh, bootleg brown and I'm just going to apply this on my lower lash line it is actually a pretty pretty good color it's just matte no shimmers no glitters and I'm just blending it and I'm connecting it with where the um, upper shadow is and then the next thing that I'm gonna apply is the liner I love this liner this is my first liner that I've ever used from the drugstore and it's called the exaggerate eyeliner this is in the shade 100% uh, black and the um, the applicator is actually easy to use if you're used to applying eyeliners but if you're um, a beginner, this might be a little bit hard to apply for you, but I love this thing. This doesn't budge at all. It did last for a really long time on my lid, I mean on my eyeliner. So anyway, the next thing that I'm going to be using is this mascara called Scandal Eyes Extreme. This is in the shade um, black, I believe. Yeah, 0001 black. And then the... Um, applicator is really sharp
Onto this palette right here, this is called the Sculpting Palette in the shade Coral Glow. They have a different shade with this, but I picked this up because I like the color of the blush. And this one has a highlighter, contour, and a blush. And I didn't really care for the contour. I used it as a bronzer because it has sheen shimmers in it. And I don't know, it just didn't show up on my uh, face that well. And then the blush is also a little bit hair lighter for my liking but this is probably just the shade maybe it's just way too light for my skin tone or for my sh for my skin and um i don't know not my favorite at all now the highlighter works really nice because it does pick up really well on my skin it has a glow in it and it is subtle it doesn't have shimmers like big chunk of shimmers and it's not powdery either so this one I like I don't have a problem with the highlighter I'm gonna contour my nose with that contour uh, shade and I'm just applying it with my brush and this contour just doesn't have a color in it. to the lips I'm gonna apply this lip liner right here this is in the shade uh, 014 wild clover and i love this color right here it is kind of like a dusty pink but has a red tone in it and i'm applying it all over my lips and the lipstick that i'm going to be using is the uh, kate lipstick and this is in the shade 14 this one is kind of like a little bit uh nude neuter pink and i'm just going to apply this in the middle of my lips this is the look for today. Thank you guys for watching me today. Please uh, check out my other videos also. And I will see you again in my next video. Thank you guys so much. And have a great day. And I hope you enjoy this look. Bye guys.